as we fixed the Indian standard meridian as 82 degrees 30 inches. So this 82 degrees 30 inches is a standard meridian for Indian time and it passes through Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh and also the Sri Lanka connects to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is also following the same Indian timings. Now moving on to understand India and the rest of the world. As I mentioned earlier, India is a land where we have the ancient civilizations in existence. The ancient civilizations flourished on this land. Indus Valley civilization gives us as a remarkable point of remainder for us all that this land has been flourished by the ancient civilizations. Now, moving on to understand the landmass of India. When we look at the landmass of India, we find it very typical because no other country has such a long coastline, though it is in the northern hemisphere and it is connected, it is located in Asia. It is very well connected with the other continents like Europe and also Africa. The land towards the South India produces into the Indian Ocean where it has a wide range of coastline on the Indian Ocean which justifies the name of the ocean after the country that is the Indian Ocean. And it makes its viable axis from here towards the Southeast Asia well as to Africa and also to Europe. So the location of India, the strategic location of India itself brought her to a special position in the location itself. This strategic location made her to be eminent and clear special country. So the country can be well connected through land routes from Europe through water or sea route from Africa towards the eastern part of Asia and also having a long coastal line on the Indian Ocean also signifies a special place for our country India. Now relationships, when we talk about the relationships, India's relationship with the western countries is not a new point. It has its relationship with the western countries from wave olden days. Ancient 3rd century BC itself we have Indians pottery being sold there, Indian spices being carried there. So through the land route there existed a very cordial relationships. The trade has continued for many centuries from the west to the east. It's that's how the people came to know about the ideas of Upanishads, the Ramayana, the Mahabharata. These ideas spread towards the west and also the Indian numericals, Arabs learned the concept of zero from the Indians. Then we also have the trade in regards to spices, muslin cloth and also we have the borrowing of the architectural structures like the dome structure, the minarets which we have now in various places. So this reveals for us that from the ancient time onwards India is very well connected towards the west and it proves that there has been a positive relations between the west and to the east either through trade or by the kings coming and occupying the lands or through the establishment of the structural existences which we have in our country which are a replica or borrowed from the western countries. This is about the India's and her connections with the rest of the world. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.